Yo guys, what's good? Team Slice. But first off, Happy New Year. I'm sending love to you all. So today we're going to be looking at an insane exotic combo that has high burst DPS. Absolutely melts champions in the end game. Plus we have some crazy survivability automatically built into this. This season have brought us some insane buffs to subclasses, to exotic weapons right down to our fragments so with the new changes to these new champion mods i've reignited one of my favorite stasis hunter builds for you guys it's more powerful than ever in this current season with a revenant subclass offers amazing crowd control through infinity dust field grenades here i'm running a few master nightfall runs 20 light levels below so this hopefully will give you a good insight on how it performs when grandmasters arrive Everything is permanently frozen and we are melting them away. So it's perfect for solo play or fire team settings. The main focus of this build is a recently buffed stasis fragment, Whisper of Rending. This now gives any primary weapon a disgusting 33% damage buff against frozen targets. The rest of this hunter build is then based around adding raw damage buffs and keeping up our dust fields at all times to keep our double damage loop going. Our first aspect is Touch of Winter, which enhances our dust field grenades, making it much more effective when freezing, and adds a stasis crystal in the center, which we will cover after. Then we have Grim Harvest. This creates stasis shards whenever we kill a slowed or frozen target, giving us melee energy back. And paired with the Elemental Shards mod, plays into our combat mods on buffing our entire build. As for our fragments, we're using Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional crystals increase the duration of this benefit. So your original time is six seconds of insane grenade cooldowns. Then we pair that with Whisper of Durance slow from our abilities last longer so now our dust field grenades attract more frozen enemies and they last longer on the battlefield to take advantage of whisper of rending so now whisper of rending works with any primary weapons and it does a massive 43 percent damage increase to frozen targets then we have whisper of conduction nearby stasis shards trapped to your position giving you plus 10 in resilience and plus 10 in intellect then we have whisperer chains while you're near frozen targets you take reduced damage our exotic pick is a lucky pants this exotic massively boosts our damage with kinetic or energy hand cannons that match our subclass drawing a fully loaded hand cannon gives us a massive 60% increase per hit for 5.5 seconds, maxing out at a ridiculous 600% damage increase after 10 hits. This also stacks with the already 43% damage buff from rending, so ideally we want to be hitting 10 stacks ASAP to take full advantage of the 600% damage buff and we've actually found a cheat code crimson so this kinetic hard hitting three burst hand cannon is legitimately disgusting this season and it offers heals on every single kill so when i was talking about having automatic survivability built into our exotic combo this is it plus we have unstoppable hand cannon mods this season making it end game material it hits like a truck with lucky pants with one burst hit counting as three stacks so we're potentially hitting that 600% damage buff with lucky pants within four bursts. This destroys champions for fun. On the helmet for fire team setting we're using counter charge. We become charge light whenever us or our member of fire team stuns a champion. On the gauntlets we have unstoppable hand cannon to stun unstoppable champions. We have grenade kickstart, so when we throw our grenade, we're gonna get increased grenade energy back straight away. And then we have elemental charge. We become charge with light 
times two when we pick up an elemental well that matches our subclass. On the chest piece, we have charged up. This will allow us to carry three stacks of charger light at all times when we pick up an elemental well that matches our subclass. On the hunter cloak, we have elemental shards. So stasis shards that we make with the crystal inside of the dust field grenade when we shatter it will create stasis shards for us and every time we defeat a frozen or slow target create stasis shards we then collect that and we become charged with light we have lord kelvin's basilic so this will enable our stasis grenades to stun overload champions and disrupt anything else on the battlefield and we have weakened in clear so we can take even more advantage of whisper of rending and lucky pants because the debuff offers us an extra 15 percent damage increase when we weaken our enemies with grenade launchers and then we're gonna spend all of our charges with light for high energy fire adding an extra 20% damage increase on top of the crimson so now we have lucky pants stacking with whisper of rending plus an extra 20% damage increase taking the crimson to a whole nother level you add the weakening debuff it just gets insane for a primary weapon So that's a build guys, I hope you like it, I'm Cream Slice, if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, you can always change your mind later, peace.